Welcome back to Jaro Dynamics. Okay, so I'm going to do a video. Uh, I do have a uh, Modern Horizons 3 collector box. I went ahead and got one of those. So I'm going to be opening that up and putting up a couple videos breaking that. Um, I did want to do a video leading into that, talking about um, what cards I hope to pull from this. Uh, and I'm going to be using TCG Player. I'm going to go through that and kind of just talk about the cards as I come across them. Um, if you saw that little bit at the beginning, and it'll probably be again at the end. For some reason, I was unable to really quickly figure out how to change it to only do the one window capture. Um, as far as in, in instead of the display, I'll have to figure that out later. But I just really want to get this recorded real quick here. So apologies for the uh, um, lack of technical expertise on getting this uh, OBS software to do exactly what I wanted to do. But here we go. All right, so I'm going to open this up in the next two videos. So if that's what you're looking for, um, that will be posted very shortly. Uh, in the meantime, let's go through. Um, of course, the I'm, I've got it priced high to low, and so it's got the collector booster boxes and the, the um, bundle and that sort of thing. Not really what I'm here to talk about today. Um, and then you'll see a bunch of cards duplicate the different variants of them um, throughout. And I'll, sometimes that'll become an issue and I'll talk about it. But here we go. All right, so Ulamog the Defiler, um, uh, Emrakul, and Kozilek, uh, the three new Eljazi Titans for this set. Definitely would love to pull those. Um, so all three of those are in my wish list. Soren of House Markov. Um, all the flip lanes walkers I'd be happy to pull. Uh, Soren is one of the ones that I do kind of want. Um, but the ones that I want more than that are uh, Ajani and uh, Grist. So uh, Ajani and Grist would be the ones that I'd be more than happy to pull. Um, Soren and Tamio, I'd be happy to pull those as well. Um, and uh, Rao, um, Rao Zarek, uh, that would be, that'd be a fine card to pull also. One of my biggest wish lists is this card right here, Ugin's Labyrinth. I would really, really like to pull one of those. I'd like to have it in a couple of different decks, and uh, not having to buy that would be nice. <laughs> so um, the variant I'd like is the full art version, which we'll get to in a little bit here. But uh, any Ugin's Labyrinth would do. <laughs> All right, scrolling on down here, uh, Ugin's Binding is also one of the cards that I would really like to pull, and this version is amazing. I would love the borderless version. Here's the borderless version of the uh, Ugin's Labyrinth. That is also a, uh, that's the version that I'd like to pull of that card. Um, here's Emrakul. Here's Grist. Uh, Grist would definitely be one of the ones I'd be happy to pull. All right, let's see what we got next here. I do not want to pull a Kali of the Vest, so uh, fingers crossed that I will not be pulling one of those. <laughs> I have a cool version of it. It's just not really a card that I see playing very often and uh, don't really need to be pulling one of those. All right, yes, Ocelet or Ocelet, however you want to pronounce that. I think it's Ocelet Pride um, is one of the biggest hits for this set for me. Um, so. I am mostly a commander player, and I mostly only want a single copy of every card. Um, but uh, but I do, at some point, after I get all my collection organized, I want to build decks for each format. I would like to build um, maybe a couple of modern decks. Um, and my favorite is Soul Sisters. It, you know, obviously not top tier. I'm not playing to have the best deck and to win. Um, but Soul Sisters is one of my favorite cards, I'd like, or favorite decks, I'd like to try Ocelet Pride in that, so, um, if I pulled multiple copies of Ocelet Pride, it's a mythic, that's probably not going to happen, but if I did, it, that would be one of the cards that I wouldn't be super disappointed about having more than one copy of, um, because I want one copy for Commander, but I would need multiple copies for a modern deck. All right. Um, Hergast, Erupting Nolkite, um, not at the top of my list, um, um, wouldn't hate pulling it, but not at the top of my list. I do really like the uh, Foil Etched, um, so I, I love art on um, Borderless, Full Art, that sort of thing, um, but the uh, Foil Etched is my favorite uh, type of foiling, so... Oh, back up here, Textured Foiling is pretty nice also, looks like we're going to have some Textured Foil cards in this set. 
and also some serialized cards. So obviously textured foil or serialized cards would be huge hits. I'd love to do that. And the uh, Titans have this, um, what's it? The um, I'm forgetting the name. Maybe it says it if I open it up here. It's the, it is called the Concept Eldrazi, yes. So Concept Eldrazi's come in the, I think that's the serialized versions. Um, Concept Eldrazi are really cool. Um, I need to get the flares. I would love to get a single copy of the flares um, for my, uh, you know, commander decks. Um, full art is really, really nice. Um, the retro frame is also pretty cool. Don't really have a desire to pull a nether goyf. If I did, I did. Um, all right, so now is the time to talk about um, um, fetch lands. So I believe it's another situation where they're doing the fetch lands or mythic box. Basically, you're gonna, you're likely to open a box that has quite a few fetch lands or quite a few mythics, not both. I would much rather the mythic box. Um, I have my copies of fetch lands. I don't really need any more, um, other than, you know, if I build, uh, you know, build the other decks like I was talking about previously, then, you know, having multiple fetch lands for the, uh, for the modern deck or the, or the, you know, if I build a legacy deck. Um, and if that's the case, uh, Flooded Strand is probably the one I'd like to pull the most of the, uh, of the fetch lands, being that, uh, um, Another modern deck I enjoy playing and would probably build is Spirits. Um, probably Azorius Spirits. So, you know, I would have a Soul Sisters deck, which doesn't really need fetches, and then a uh, Spirits deck, which could use the, uh, the Flooded Strands. So, kind of into that. But, let's move along here. So, uh, fetch lands, I'm not, um, I'm not looking to pull a bunch of fetch lands like a lot of people are. But they are value, and, you know, if I did pull them, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Eldamari is great. I definitely want to pull an Eldamari. El Eladamari. Eladamari. Sorry. El Eladamari. Yes, Eladamari. Uh, uh, Necro Dominance is not really my style of play. I don't, you know, really have a desire to pull one. If I did, I did. Ooh, the uh, Flage. Flage? Is that how we're pronouncing it? Flage, Titan of Fire's Fury. Uh, yeah, I'd like to pull one of those. That'd be cool. Soren again, Necrodominance again. There's quite a few uh, uncommons in this set too, so we're going to kind of go through those. Uh, definitely having my eye out for quite a few uncommons in this set. And because it's a collector booster box, that means they'll be in foil, so even better. All right, Bloodstain Mire, don't really need a Bloodstain Mire. Frixian Tower, don't need a Frixian Tower. I have, uh, was it the Double Masters or Ultimate Masters? I think it's Double Masters that uh, Frexian Tower was in. Um, I also have the Dracula version of the Frexian Tower for Commander decks, so don't really need to pull one of those. Tamiyo, Grist, Nadu, and this is actually the version of Nadu I'd like to pull. I'm not a huge fan of the profile cards. I know some people are, but I'm not so much. Um, there's a couple of exceptions to that, and the Nadu is not one of them. <laughs> But uh, this foil etched version of Nadu would be cool to put pull. It's just not at the top of my list. All right, Ugin's Binding again. Talked about that. I want the previous version, but if I pulled this version, I'd be super happy about that. Again, the flares. We've got Urza's Incubator. Don't have any desire to pull one of those. I don't have any desire to pull an Ashling. Echoes of Eternity, um, I wouldn't mind pulling one. Um, I will eventually build the colorless Eldrazi deck, but uh, but that's not my focus right now. Um, but if I pull one, I pull one. Pretty cool. See this profile? I'm not a fan. All right, Eldamari again. All right, Felia, super adorable dog. Uh, yeah, I want to pull it, and I want to pull this version, this version in particular. The foil-etched regular art version of it. So cute. I want it. Um, here's a Johnny. Flare of uh, Cultivation Borderless would be nice. Winter Moon. I'd like to have a copy of it, but man, it's so hard for me to justify playing that style of card. So probably wouldn't play it too often, if at all. So it's definitely not at the top of my list. 
Keep going. Shifting Woodland. I definitely want one of those. Profile, profile. We talked about him already. All right. Strix Serenade is um, one of the cards I really want to pull. I really like the full art version of it. And I definitely want the token to go along with it. That owl is hilarious. Uh, Warren Soul Trader in this version. That's exactly what I want to see. A full art, a borderless um, Warren Soul Trader. Definitely want to pull one of those. Birthing Ritual is cool. Uh, I wouldn't mind pulling it, but it's not near the top of my list. All right, again, the Echoes of Eternity. If I pull one, this art is really cool, but, you know, not really a card that I want to, that I'm looking to pull. Um, Volatile Storm Drake. I'm not looking to do energy right now. Um, I was kind of hoping that uh, the energy commander, you know, would have green in it, uh, would be, you know, one of the different green variants that we could do. Um, the Teamer, is it Teamer? Uh, just guy uh the just guy version of we have two just guy energy commanders now not really or actually more than that because i think the secondary commander in the fallout deck was also a just guy energy commander so like three just guy energy commanders i, I just wanted something different so i'm not looking to build energy right now but when i do i'll look at getting one of these volatile storm drakes but pulling one right now is not a huge huge thing that i'm looking to do um, Chitonian Nightmare, kind of the same thing, you know, I, an energy deck with black in it, it would be, you know, you'd need a commander for it, for me anyways. Not really something I'm looking to pull, this Chitonian Nightmare. Uh, Shifting Wooden Borderless, this is the version I'd like to pull of that. Harbinger of the Sea, Harbinger, 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 there we go. Harbinger of the Sea is definitely a card that would be cool to have a copy of, again, kind of like the Winter Moon, um, I just don't see myself playing a card type like that very often, um, so not really one of my highest priority cards to pull. Uh, Flage Titan of Fire's Fury, we talked about it. This is one of the profile cards I actually like, so I wouldn't mind pulling this. Where are we time-wise? 12 minutes, not too bad, not too bad. I want to get to opening it, but I'd like to go through a few more pages of this. All right, no, oh, yep. I want to pull a six. Uh, this foil etch version is really cool. I wouldn't mind pulling that version of it. This guy's pretty cool. Arna, um, Kenderred, Sky Captain, foil etched. That'd be fun. Scroll, keep going through, keep going. Flares, flares, flares. Definitely want all the flares. Yeah, Co Kudo, King Among Bears. Definitely want this. Uh, Recruiter of the Guard, we'll start there. Um, I already have a Recruiter of the Guard, not really looking to pull another one. Um, Brea, same thing. I have a cool Brea Ethereum Shaper, not really looking to pull another one. Um, okay, we're at the Medallions. So Medallions, yes, I wouldn't mind pulling them, but I have the original versions of them, and that would most likely be the version that I would play in a Commander deck, but uh, these Borderless ones are really, really nice. We'll be getting to the uncommons here pretty soon, I think. Um, Primeval Prayer, kind of cool, but again, an energy card in green. I, you know, I'll, I'd probably wait to pick up those. Uh, Shadow of the Second Sun, not really the type of card I, I play very often. Um, not really looking to pull that. More flares, more flares. Um, okay, Shillingar, Sire of Famine is, is kind of a cool card. Not really super high on my list, but this foil etched version is pretty cool. I like this borderless Volatile Storm Drake. Um, if I pulled a Volatile Storm Drake, hopefully it's this one. Uh, don't need a Crick. Inverted, invert Polarity is not really something that I play very often, but I wouldn't mind having a copy of it. Same thing with Power Balance. All right. Um, more medallions, more prayer, the Necrobloom. Um, I definitely want a copy of Necrobloom. I could definitely see building that deck or putting it in other decks. Uh, this foil etched version is definitely the one I would go for too. This profile of um, Schillingar is not terrible. I wouldn't mind uh, that one. All right, uh, Willow Potential is definitely a card I'd like to pull. Someone's coming in, so there's going to be some noise. Oh, you're home early. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to be, uh, well, not super early, huh? I'm doing a video. So. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, let's see here. Yes, Springheart Nantuko. I'd really, really like to pull a copy of that. Let's keep on going. Sylvan Safekeeper, same thing. I need a copy of that. This Fanatic of Ronis is one of my top picks for the uh, set. I'd really like to... I need a copy of it, so uh, pulling it would be the best. Um, full art, foil, please. <laughs> these modal dual lands, uh, or wait, modal lands. Wait, is this a modal land? No, these aren't the modal lands. These are the the rare cycle of lands. I wouldn't mind, um, you know, other than the uh, fetch lands, of course. I wouldn't mind getting a copy of those. Um, um, not really something I need to pull. Uh, I could definitely pick them up as I as I go. But, uh, but yeah, that's definitely a card. Or those lands would be cool. Like, that's the Shifting Woodlands was the green version of that. Um, Ripples of Undeath is a card that I need to get, so I uh, wouldn't mind pulling a copy of that. All right, so probably the first uncommon that we're looking at that is something that I really would love to pull a foil copy of. Null Elemental Blast. This Retro Fling. Retro frame copy of it uh, is definitely the one that I'd be looking to get. Very nice, very nice. Spy Master's Vault, similar to the uh, to the blue land we just looked at. Let's see who else we got. Pearl Ear Imperial Advisor, not really something I'm looking to pull. Let's see this this Strix Serenade, the borderless copy is beautiful. I definitely want a copy of that. All right, Crick, no. Orin's Chant, eh, maybe. I, I it'd be fine. Keep going. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, this crab, crab, abom crab abomination. Crab abomination? Is that how we're saying that? Crab abomination. Uh, that's f hilarious. Not really something I need to pull, but hilarious. There we go. There's the fanatic of Ronis. Uh, uh, extended art is what they're calling it. Um, Devourer of Destiny is kind of cool. Uh, not really one of the, my top picks. Um, abstruse appropriation is definitely something I need to pull or need to get and would love to pull it. Uh, Aether Revolt, eh. Psychic Frog, eh. There's the cute dog profile, but I want the uh, non-profile version, but cute dog. Party Thrasher, eh. Definitely don't want to pull a Kappa Cannoneer. I already have one. Uh, Monumental Hedge is probably second to the Greenland, or maybe first over the Greenland. Not quite sure. Um, definitely want one of those, though. Kozilex Commands is kind of similar to the Eternity one. Um, I definitely want a copy of it, but um, I can pick it up when I'm ready to build that deck if, if I don't pull it. <clears throat> Six. Uh, Guide of Souls is pretty cool, but again, it's, you know, the energy. Not really looking to build that right away. Um... Imskir, Iron Eater, not really super interested in that. Deserted Temple, don't really need that. Um, Hair Guest Erupting, Null Kite, not really looking for this profile version. Okay, one of the other big cards that I really want a copy of is White Orchid Phantom. Um, but there's a Richard Kane Ferguson art of that, and that's the one that I absolutely need to get a copy of. Um, Vexing Bobble, I need a foil copy of that. Hopefully I pull that. Urza's Cave, same thing. Um, Roshin, not really looking to pull Roshin. Getting towards the end here, I think I'm ready to move on to opening the box, but let's look at a couple more. White of the Reliquary, definitely want that full art version of that. Um, Estrid's Incantation, eh. Uh, this is the version of Mon Monumental Hedge I'd like to pull. If I was to pull a Psychic Frog, that's hilarious, I want that. Uh, Null Drifter, I need to get a copy of Null Drifter, um, but I think the retro frame would be cool to get. See, there's Brea, there's Guy the Souls, Will of Potential, uh, there's Philia again, Felia again, super cute dog. Um, Pyro Balance, that's a cool version of it, but, or Power Balance, cool version of it, don't really need it. Um, more medallions, cute. Um, the Well, I definitely want a copy of The Well. Let's see. Sewing Mycospawn. Um, yeah, yeah, I definitely want a copy of that. That's cool. Um, let's see here. Wrath of the Skies. I need to get a copy of Wrath of the Skies. This is that uh, Richard Kane Ferguson White Orchid Phantom. Um, I want to put it in my Spirits deck when I uh, when I build that. Um, and I need a copy for uh, for Commander. So this is the art. 
This amphibian downpour is pretty cool. Hopefully you get a copy of that. Uh, Buried Alive, get a copy of Buried Alive foil, that'd be nice. Um, I have Buried Alive in the, the original Weatherlight version, but, uh, but this one in foil would be nice. Um, Eldrazi Spawn Token, I need uh, Eldrazi Spawn Tokens, foil would be nice. Those are going in my, uh, the deck I'm going to be building, so those would be the best tokens to pull. And I think I'm about ready to wrap this up. I think I already said that already, but let's wrap this up. Okay, an energy reserve um, um, token in foil would be amazing, especially if it had the uh, spawn on the other side. That'd be hilarious. Um, all right, am I ready to call it? I still like the other bear better. Oh yeah, I need a um, Thief of Existence, and there's the, uh, uh, the Basilisk, the uncommon one. Um, Eldrazi, the green Eldrazi. Um, I need some uh, snow-covered wastes. That'd be cool. Argent Day, Dace. That's kind of cool. Full art on the well. Genku, Future Shaper. Eh. Ophiomancer, I have. Um, I have the one from the Commander Black. Here's that uh, retro f frame. Wait, is it? No, it's not the retro frame. Toxic Deluge, don't need to pull a copy of that. That's kind of cool for a one of those profile ones. Ah, yes, Emperor of Bone, that'd be nice. All right, one last page here, and then I will call this video. Full art snow-covered waste is even cooler. Um, profile of the Necro Bloom, eh. This flute, eh. I already have a Cephalid Coliseum, but... Yeah, I'd pull. I'd be happy to pull one. In the uncommon slot, anyways, you know. Snow covered waist retro. Eh, that's kind of cool looking. I think I'd like the full art better, but. Alright, Eldrazi spawn token. Archway of Innovation is that version of the land, the full art version of that land. Uh, Metastatic Evangel is kind of cool. Definitely wouldn't mind getting a copy of that. Lion Umbra, Priest of Titania. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind having a copy of Priest. Okay, I'm going to end it on that. All right, everybody. Let me see what we're looking at time-wise. A little long, a little long on the video. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to open this up. It will be a great, a great time. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, I will talk to you guys all later. Take care. Have a good day.